wow. <laughs> so many people. Thanks for inviting me here. <laughs> Whoa. Um, when we think about interacting with technology, we often think about uh, staying in, in front of a computer or a touch screen. And uh, interacting with the virtual world inside it, made of software and icons. But can we use technology also to extend the capabilities of objects we interact with every day? Can, we, can technology give us new ways to experience the physical world around us? Let's have a look at what happens every time we touch an object. Every time we touch an object, it vibrates. We can hear some of these vibrations as sound. This is a contact microphone. It's a very cheap, uh, tiny device that allows us to pick up more of these vibrations. Vibrations are a wonderful and very powerful phenomenon present everywhere. There is not a single object or rigid body in this planet that doesn't vibrate when it is touched or when we physically interact with it. So why don't we take advantage of these vibrations to try to redefine the way we interact with objects around us? To, to give them new, new functions. Uh, at Goldschmidt University of London and IRCAM Music Research Center in Paris, we are working to turn these vibrations into something useful. We, we can analyze these vibrations, recognize specific patterns, and extract meaningful information that we can then use to extend the capabilities of these objects to bring them to life. And we are using accessible objects that we already have around us. So for example, this teacup is still a teacup, but we, we can extend its capabilities. So for example, we could use it as a remote controller for our TV at home. On and off. On. Enough. On. And I change the channel if I do this. And then I turn off again. <laughs> um, we are connecting this teacup to the digital world. Uh, so we can use digital signal processing to ask the computer to remember specific gestures or patterns associate them with specific actions. But my colleagues and I are interested in uh, new technologies for creating music. So we decided to apply this concept to the musical domain. We are augmenting everyday objects to transform them into musical instruments. And because we want people to be able to access to this technology everywhere, anytime they feel inspired. We are developing a mobile app that we decided to call Mo Mojis. So people can walk in the street and just connect the uh, phone to headphones or loudspeakers and just plug the contact microphone to an object so for example, this Brussels bike. Oh. Yeah. Just, just turn on the application and select a sound and select a series of gestures that we want the system to be able to recognize. And then we make music from it. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> 
So in a way, people become the designer of their own musical instruments because they can select the objects they like, and then they can associate them with the sounds they like, and then they can play them with their own style. So in a way, everyone can make music everywhere with everything. So, yeah. Thank you. We do have a very special person here today that uh, really wants to play my Brussels bike, Mitch Holtman. <laughs> Let's have a jam together. <laughs>
Thank you.